Hey, what up YouTube, how's everybody doing? Long time no see. Sorry for the absence, I've been away for quite a while. But I have just returned last night uh, from a nice warm Rome in Italy to a very, very cold home here where I live. And uh, now I'm going to be looking at some of the photos I've uh, taken in Rome. Beautiful city. I took the Ricoh GR3. I'm going to put another video out with some of the images I got in Rome and tell you about the settings I used. But right now, I'm just going to show you a little workflow. If you own a Mac like I do, um, it doesn't have to be a new, uh, a new Mac, but if you own a Mac like I do, you can get some great results just with the Mac and uh, Photos app that's built into the Mac. And uh, I just want to show you a little workflow for that. So um, this is my SD card. It has an SD card slot built into the Mac itself. And uh, here you can see I've got my SD card in from the Ricoh GR. And I'm going to copy this DCIM folder out to the desktop like that. That contains all of the images I took, all almost 14 gigabytes. So I was shooting in uh, RAW plus JPEG. Now I'm going to pause the video and uh, get back to this when the copying is done. So here we are and the uh, copying to the desktop from the card is now done. And just to make sure I don't make any mistakes, I'm now going to eject the card. And uh, that's gone. So I've got to take the card out of the machine. So I've got a backup of uh, all of the images, both the DNG raw files and the JPEGs on that card. And then I'm just going to go in this folder and maybe just change the name first. Call that Rome, like that. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to scan these uh, folders for the JPEGs and remove them. Uh, I don't want the JPEG images, I just want the DNGs, and then I'm going to import the DNG files into uh, Photos. Okay, so how do you search for all images in the folder like that? Roam. Well, I'm going to look at desktop like this, I'm going to select Roam there, and I could go, if I was thinking like a, a Windows user, I'd probably say star dot JPEG, uh, nothing comes up. What you have to do with a Mac, if I select Rome as well like that, see, nothing comes up. So if I just get rid of that, what, actually, what it actually does is, if I select a JPEG image here, that I like that, you can say it has this title down here. I'm running um, Mac OS Catalina on an old MacBook Air from 2017 and we've got this JPEG image and it just says JPEG image like that and that is actually how you search uh, you can do it uh, at the terminal command line and be more precise and actually include uh, uh, file extensions like that but you don't need to when you're working in the GUI uh, using Finder so I select Rome again here and I just write JPEG image like that and I select the folder Rome where it should start in and as you can see it has now looked at all of the JPEGs in that folder and subfolders so now I'm just gonna press command A or I can go up to the menu and say select all and that will now select I'll go down here, sorry, and then say select all, and then it selects all the files that it's uh, found from that search, looking for a JPEG image, and then I'm going to hit command and backspace to delete them, and they all go over to the garbage. So, remove that search text there, and now I am left with DNGs only. Okay, so now I'm going to start up Photos app. Now my Photos app on this machine, this was recently uh, formatted and reinstalled and I don't sync the Photos app with iCloud or anything like that so it's really empty. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up and say File and 
and import and I'm going to import all of these DNG files from Rome review for import okay uh, now it's selected all the files it's found in all of those subfolders and I'm just going to say import all new files and this little circle up here is like a clock face and it's showing me the progress okay so the files are starting to come in now and uh, once again I'll pause the video and we'll get back to looking at these files in a minute so here I am back now and I am done importing all of the images into uh, Apple Photos app in the Mac and uh, now I'm going to uh, create a folder over here an album like that I'm just going to call this one Rome there go back to imports and uh, press command A or again go up to edit after select one image like that just to get it in the right place and then say select all and I'm going to right click and say add to Rome. There. Apply. And now I've got this folder down here. And they haven't been, they haven't been moved around. They've just been organized into this folder. So I could create other folders. Okay. So now we're going to look at what you can do with Apple Photos when it comes to editing images. So I'm going to take uh, this one. Double click on that view the image and then I'm going to go up to this button up here and press edit and we go into edit mode and now you start to get a tool that looks a little bit like um, Lightroom just a little bit more simple and it's quite good actually some of the tools in this are quite uh, very very easy to use simplified and uh, the results are quite good now as always when you're working on uh, raw files, you're usually preparing the image for something else, either for print or posting on social media, or just making a, an archive of the way you want them to look. So this is like the second stage. Now, normally I do most of my editing in the camera, but now and again, uh, it is quite nice to be able to uh, edit the photos in another app. And so that's what I'm doing here. So you've got some basic settings up here. So you've got light. If you want to work in black and white, you just go here and start messing with the image and just run these sliders through like this until you get an image that looks nice. But you can also go in and uh, look at other options and take exposure, highlight, shadows, brightness and uh, work on it as you would in something like Lightroom or, uh, or GIMP or, or other photo editing tools and it's, uh, it's quite nice. So that's what I'm going to be doing with some of these images and uh, I'm going to post the results in a video that's going to show you my recent trip to Rome and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So, See you later and uh, have a great day.